I'm Peter Blanc here at TCT 2018, and with me is Philipp Luatz from Leipzig in Germany. And Philipp has embarked on trying to figure out this whole business about renal denervation in patients with hypertension. So, Philippe, uh, it's been a topic that has ups and downs and a lot of conversation about it over many years. Tell me about your recent trial. Yes. As you said, ups and downs, but the more recent trials, they showed actually quite positive results. They showed that renal denervation works when more advanced technologies are used. And the current approach now is either using ultrasound as an energy to deliver ablation or radio frequency. And the later can be delivered either to the main renal artery only or to the main and to the renal artery branches. Okay, and just to emphasize, this is all percutaneous, of course. This is all percutaneous, of Okay, course. so tell me about the trial and tell me about the three arms of it because it's a fascinating trial and it has some funny uh, sort of glitches in it. So let's yes, start right. with the trial. What's it about? So what we wanted to do, we wanted to compare these different technologies and techniques. We had three arms. One arm was radio frequency with um, ablations delivered only to the main renal artery. The second arm was again radio frequency, but ablations performed in the male, main and in the branches. And then the third arm was ultrasound with ablations in the main renal artery only. So a combination uh, in one and then two a combination separate. combination in one. Exactly. exactly. Because we're going to get back to that at the end anyway. So tell me about the outcomes. Let's make this short and sweet. Yes, short and sweet outcome. We did see a significant reduction in blood pressure in all groups, irrespective of technology and technique. But when we compared the, the change between the groups, there was a statistical um, difference between ultrasound and radio frequency main only whereas the main and branches was in between with no statistical difference. Okay, so the radio frequency was more uh, successful. The, the ultrasound in the main was more successful I'm sorry. as compared okay. to the radio frequency in so the main I had, only. So I had that reversed. Yes. Okay, so ultrasound is more uh, successful. Tell me about the combination because this is a funny sort of part of this trial. I think one aspect which uh, should be considered is that we do look at our primary input at three months and just at the recent um, spiral HDN on med trial it was seen that the effect is more pronounced at six months so it would be very interesting to see whether these changes will be different at six months. We do have a slightly different patient population as compared to the previous trials because we have about 50 percent of patients with isolated systolic hypertension that were excluded um, in the current um, trial programs. Um, I think these are the two main Yeah, and they may, that and, may explain it. And lastly, when we compare the number of ablations delivered, um, we performed about 35 ablations in the combined group, and current, in the current trials, patients had about 45. So maybe we were not rigid, not aggressive enough yeah, in the no, main group, so being in a, the combined group. Yeah, being me. aggressive in that combined group may have made the difference. So one last question before we um, shut this down, and that is, you know, in the United States, people have said, well, this isn't worth it anymore, yet in Europe, people are still looking at it, and of course here as well. So do you think this is going to make a rebirth of this technology? I think what we've seen this year, also um, combined with the trials at Europe PCR, it is a rebirth. and. Um, the results of this trial, I don't think that they allow us to re recommend a preferable technique at this point in time. It needs larger trials, but it is, it is once again a support of the principal proof of renal innovation. And you're also going to have your six-month follow-up anyway, which will add more data. Definitely. Thank you, Philip. Thank you very much for having me.